Hello everyone, this is the Daily Devotional video for February 20, 20 wow, February 16th, 2018, I'm so sorry. Uh, the passage for today is in the book of Judges, chapter 7, we're reading verses 1 through 8. Early in the morning, Jerob Baal, that is Gideon, and all his men camped at the spring of Herod. The camp of Midian was north of them in the valley near the hill of Moreh. The Lord said to Gideon, You have too many men for me to deliver Midian into their hands. In order that Israel may not boast against me that her own strength has saved her, announce now to the people, Anyone who trembles with fear may turn back and leave Mount Gilead. So 22,000 men left, while 10,000 remained. But the Lord said to Gideon, There are still too many men. Take them down to the water, and I will sift them for you there. If I say this one shall go with you, he shall go. But if I say, this one, this one shall not go with you, he shall not go. So Gideon took the men down to the water. There the Lord told him, Separate those who lap the water with their tongues like a dog from those who kneel down to drink. Three hundred men lapped with their hands to their mouths. All the rest got down on their knees to drink. The Lord said to Gideon, With the three hundred men that lapped, I will save you and give the Midianites into your hands. Let all the other men go, each to his own place. So Gideon sent the rest of the Israelites to their tents, but kept the three hundred who took over the provisions and trumpets of the others. Now the camp of Midian lay below him in the valley. The title for today's devotional is When the Odds Are Against You. It sounds like a good one. The story of Gideon offers scriptural guidance for times when the odds are overwhelming and defeat seems imminent. No matter what your challenges are, the Lord is able to demonstrate his awesome power and deliver you. God uses difficulty to build faith. Gideon was willing to believe God and go up against an army four times larger than his own. Think about that for a minute. Trusting the Lord is a process that must be learned through experience. At times, God takes the people he plans to use and places them in impossible situations. And that way they discover he is faithful. We may prefer to acquire faith by reading a book, but the Lord knows the best classroom is a place of utter helplessness. God may require us to do what seems unreasonable. The Israelites were already outnumbered, but the Lord instructed Gideon to reduce the army to a mere 300 men. That made the odds 450 to 1. Although God's ways may seem illogical to us, His wisdom and power are far greater than ours, and His plan can be trusted. And God leads us to do that which brings Him glory. Gideon's army was so small that its men could in no way take credit for the victory. The Lord delights in demonstrating his awesome power and glory through our weakness and inadequacy. Think of life's challenges as an opportunity for the Lord to build your faith and prepare you for ministry. He uses those who are willing to obey him even when the task seems illogical or impossible. And he takes pleasure in showing his faithfulness 
to those who trust in him, regardless of the situation. I love that. That's a powerful reversal. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I'm going to see you back here again tomorrow.